Welcome back to the TV Primo Channel, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell down below to be notified every time I drop a new video. And as y'all can see today, we got Chopper EB. What? That was the last video. I'm over here. I'm over here having flashbacks. We having we have Cash Cobain dunk contest. Now this is literally my first time reacting to Cash Cobain on the channel. We reacted to Chow Lee actually a few times. Shout out to Chow Lee because I mess with his music a whole lot, and I mess with Cash too. Cash has been going crazy for the past year and a half with the he's him literally starting the whole like the whole uh be love becoming the king of the bronx movement with if you know you know he produced that beat i'm pretty sure he and he he had sampled what did he wait no no he produced my everything right got this beat from cash not from youtube she i can know that she will be this way uh, bad little bit not basic give him i tell you but not yeah like he produced that like he did a he did a whole lot within the drill scene i'm also pretty sure he produced um get home by set the trend he produced like a lot of tracks for the whole bronx drill movement bro and he done produced for Drake this year. He produced for Travis Scott. He's producing for everybody. Like the run he's on right now is absolutely insane. He's he's been able to create his own lane within drill with the whole sexy drill movement, which we're gonna see in this track today. And we've heard from the Child Lee songs, which I'll put up above in the cards. So when you see that, just make sure you click on it. But Cash Cobain has been going absolutely crazy crazy for like this past year and a half and now i'm seeing him all over my tiktok feed of just all these cute girls singing his songs bro that's literally all his promo is he'll he'll sing his song on like some sort of like dj show or whatever and then you'll just see mad shorties posting and singing that same song over and over again and i'm pretty sure this is the song right here that i've been seeing all of my feed but with that being said make sure you like comment subscribe and let's jump straight into this video man let's see what he's talking about click that link down below in the description to join the discord because we go crazy over there man movie night is tomorrow i repeat movie night is tomorrow all right let's go <laughs> Like, I hear that beat, though. Well, I'm rocking with this one. Destiny, I'm trying to give you the rest of me. I want to get it like recipe. See, don't I push it like it was a recipe? Like, Shanti, I want to make you a mommy. You look good as a redhead, dreadhead, black girl, pink girl, blondie. Like, sorry, I know I be on your body, not make the sign, but you a hottie. You let me hit, I'm a bust of shalati. Like, damn, Mia, I cannot wait till I see ya. I cannot wait till I eat ya. You got a nigga that I wanna be on. Like, damn, Jada, you know I would never play ya. Can I put you on my face, love? I want your pussy now, I want it later. Like, Kayla, got a body like you waiter. Can I put you on my face, love? That pussy cream, we call you mashed potatoes. Like, like do y'all see the vibe his music creates? He he, cause he doesn't classify this as like, he classifies it as drill, but it's like a genre of drill if that makes sense. Cause you you can hear the certain type of beats that he's making within his music. Not even this song, but the other songs as well. But the vibe it creates is so different. It's so different, bro. And I love that. I love that. There are other artists that do this kind of vibe too, like R two R Mo, Wolf Ace Joey, Cash Cobain, Chow Lee. Um, what's the other boy's name? Something paid. I feel like even set the trend like. Literally, I, I literally said in one of my last YouTube shorts and my last Set the Trend reaction, I'll put that up above in the cards as well. But his his manager was saying that Set the Trend is no longer DOA. He's Slizzy Entertainment, which is literally Cash Cobain's whole entity of artists. You feel what I'm saying? And that's kind of crazy, man. I do I do be hearing Set the Set on a lot of Cash Cobain beats, and I have been seeing him around them a lot. But for him to like go towards that whole lane, I wonder if that's better than say staying in the whole full Bronx drill lane. Opposed to the whole sexy drill lane. Because the sexy drill lane comes with more female fans, I feel like. It comes with a more versatile fan base, I guess. But who knows? China, you got that good up vagina. Uh, I got a fire. I got a hit one more time. I'm a Maya. Hey, damn. Naya, you the quiet, you the shy. Well, I wanna mm, have a minor. Fuck that. I'm a pass your vagina. Hey, damn. Tony, I know that shit macaroni. Female name Tony is crazy. That's crazy. That's insane. 
Only do the opposite of pony. Can't be riding like a pony. Ever you want it, mommy, you can call me. Like TNT, I wanna have us a DVD, make it a movie. DVD, all of us got our phones on DD. Like, damn, take the free, that's the knee. Next to I got a BB. Polishers like the eatery, none of these other niggas ever seeing me. Marty, Marty, I don't wanna talk about money. I don't think that I should talk about money. Fuck it, I'ma talk about money. You push my business off like a potty. Can't get these niggas off for your body. I wanna put it all in your body. Wanna get in your jaws so my dick is off. Let my dick is off in your body. I got a different talk. If a nigga say that he don't want you, then he gets sloppy. Like, damn. Mm -hmm. Just we can make a mess. Something I must confess. What's funny is I know he's talking about like people he actually knows because they was the ones posting these TikToks to this song. <laughs> it was absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. I want to see you get undressed for sure. I'm about to see you my address. see like the vibe it creates it's so different bro i love this i love this track i ain't gonna hold you i'm gonna rate this like a i'm gonna rate this like a 7.5 out of 10 i love this i've definitely heard better songs from him but the vibe this the vibe on this one i like a lot the vibe on this one i like a lot it embodies what his genre truly is you feel what i'm saying but comment down below how y'all feel you feel what i'm saying do y'all think cash cobain is better than chow lee uh me personally i don't think so but i could see how someone would think that you feel me? I feel like Chow Lee has more intricate lyrics, different kinds of lyrics. I feel like a lot of Cash Cobain's music is what we just heard just now, which isn't bad at all. But it's like, what what's the what's the switch up? You feel what I'm saying? What's the switch up? I also think Chow Lee has a more versatile beat selection. I don't know if I'm wrong with that because I haven't heard many uh, Cash Cobain tracks. I ain't gonna hold you. I haven't heard like a crazy amount. I haven't listened to this whole discography, but from what I listen from Charlie, there's a lot of diverse uh, beat selection and things of that nature. But hold on, before we let me see, is this video still pull up? Because before we get out of here, I do want to see what these comments are saying. I do want to see what's coming saying. All right, let's see. This video is a rare gem coming from a male artist. The entire song is about his love for women, which in mainstream music videos, the visuals for something like this are often mad misogynistic. Like women are just sexy props and and can feel like the women in the video aren't important and they are just there for pleasure of men in the video and watching. But this is not that at all. This video shows women having fun and being individualized in such a beautiful and caring way. So important and recognized. Thank you, Slizzy. I will hold you. I agree. I completely agree. This gotta be satire. That's <laughs> Yo, people are stupid. This had to be one of the be one of the first tracks to drop from the album. That, yeah, and I, I think this is this 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 is definitely this is definitely a single. This is definitely easily like a single. He said, "Like this comment if he named your ex." That's crazy. The Slizzy feed post got me every time. See, bro, the Slizzy feed post was all over TikTok. I don't understand what was going on. I don't I don't know what's been going on, bro. He delivered on this one. When I get older at the cookout, I'm finna be like, I don't. <laughs> That's crazy. This might be a, this might be a classic track. We'll see how this does. What is this at right now? 30, let's say 30k in a day. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. That's what's that? That's on pace for that's on pace for 60k. I would say 60k in five days, four days. That's not bad at all. And it's actually gonna gain some traction on TikTok. He said, This dude is the effing wave. Got my beat from cash, not from YouTube. He he don't miss. I stay bumping him every day in the whip, showing love from Cali. Yeah, nah. It seems like everybody's jacking this song and the vibe, the vibe is gets. He looked this said, he said, this song is hella relatable. Like, the, the things that he's able to do with this sounding he's doing is absolutely crazy. And I, I applaud him for that. But with that being said, comment down below how y'all feel about the track. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. I love y'all. And I'm out.